Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm here today to help you learn how to effectively demo the Cisco Meraki MR wireless access points uh, using our web-based dashboard. So we're going to cover a couple of big topics in this quick video, uh, highlighting a few of the key feature sets that are of note and unique to uh, Meraki access points. First and foremost, we're going to highlight visibility. So both general visibility, sort of the ability to go in and see who's on your network, what kinds of clients, what kinds of applications are being run, where the bandwidth is going, that sort of thing, just very, very quickly and at a very high level. And then we're also going to spend some time on the rich set of diagnostic and troubleshooting tools that are available. And then we're going to take a look at some of the built-in integrated security that comes standard with all Meraki access points. Uh, we're going to look at some of the uh, cloud-based location analytics uh, and engagement that's possible. Again, something standard on all Meraki access points. And then finally, we're going to wrap up with a look at how easy and intuitive and quickly uh, network admins can get up and running with guest Wi-Fi and splash pages. So we're going to cover all of that uh, in the next couple of minutes and we're going to start with visibility. So first thing, when we're talking about visibility, I like to start off by showing this organizational view uh, because this is such an easy, easy way for customers to come in and very, very quickly see the status, the health status and connectivity status of all of their networks, wherever in the world that they happen to be deployed. You know, as I'm sure you know, all Meraki equipment, including the MR access points, have been built from the ground up to be cloud managed, 100% cloud managed. So literally from one single pane of glass interface, you can come in and see your wired networks, your wireless networks, your mobile devices, your phones, and it's so easy to find a ton of information just from this one page. You can literally click and drill down into uh, any of these little icons here to get more information about the health and connectivity status of your network equipment, wherever it happens to be deployed, or you can come in and quickly search for a network by name uh, if you're managing hundreds or thousands of networks and just click into it and immediately come into a client's view, which is also standard across all Meraki equipment, wired and wireless, um, but is particularly wonderful with the MR because you know when you're managing a wireless network, right, you have so many different types of devices connecting, so many different um, ways that your bandwidth is getting used, and Oftentimes, you know, for a given time frame, uh, a network admin is going to want to come in and, and very, very, very quickly see, okay, who are my top uh, bandwidth consumers? You know, if I want to come in and actually see what applications are consuming my bandwidth for a given time frame, that's also incredibly easy to do too. I can just very quickly come in, sort by usage, uh, you know, and if I have questions or concerns about a particular category of content, very easily click into that as well. And right away, come in and see the clients that are contributing to that bandwidth um, and that usage right there. Also, um, what I can do is just from the wireless section, come in right away, go to wireless, come to monitor and access points. and see a list of the health and connectivity and uh, basic stats for all of my wireless access points for a given time frame deployed in a given network. And of course, we can always uh, hop, skip, and jump around just by searching or clicking into other networks to get health and connectivity status for those access points as well. And this is, again, completely customizable in many ways. You can, you can add and select columns and uh, literally if you uh, click into any access point here, you can get granular detailed information about that access point. So what we're looking at, green of course means that it's up, it's online, it's good. <laughs> good. Uh, we're looking at a MR34 access point, for example. We can get a list of all the wireless SSIDs that this access point has been configured for, and some of them are broadcasting, some of them not. Right now, you can get some information on channel uh, and signal strength, 
IP information, you know, you can uh, expand this a little bit more, uh, get a little bit more information about IP. One of the also very cool things, um, you know, if you're integrating with Meraki switches, uh, is that you can literally um, see the uh, the port, um, the, you know, the switch name and the port that your access point is connected to, uh, and uh, in true Meraki fashion, just clicking onto any of these things would bring you to the switch, so that you could actually go in and look at the switches, uh, you know, um, configuration. Uh, and so you can see there's a ton of information here, um, even real-time statistics on power consumption. You can check your firmware. You're getting live statistics about usage in real time. Uh, and then if you want to go in and see some historical data, you can do that. And, of course, uh, right away we're letting you know, okay, well, who's connected to this access point right now? What's their IP address? Uh, and if I wanted to uh, drill down into any particular client, uh, I click onto that client and get even more information. So I can see that this is a wirelessly connected client with the access points. You have the ability to um, you know, come in and upload floor plan views. So we can actually see this client connected to the AP that we uh, were, were clicked in on in the previous page. I can actually get a sort of rough estimate of where that client might be uh, and lots and lots of information. So let's go back to the, uh, the listing of access points really quickly and just want to show you how easy uh, it is to um, come in and also get some information uh, that may be tough to find otherwise. So one of the really cool features um, of Meraki Networks that have switching deployed is this feature called topology. Um, so literally this was the access point that we were on. This is all automatic, it's all built in. You can literally go in and have your, your network uh, diagrammed out for you and get lots and lots and lots of information about uh, you know basically the topology of your network. And there's a whole slew of built-in tools for remote diagnostics and troubleshooting. So these are called uh, live tools, basically, and it's um, easy to come in and, and literally do things like ping a site, make sure your APs up and online, um, you know, make sure that you don't have any uh, uh, latency or loss. You can see our, our APs online. Um, you can also come in and uh, do things like reboot a device, check the throughput, uh, do some trace routes, check your arc table, things like that. Uh, you can come in and do things like see your uh, RF utilization broken out by channel. So let's give it a second to uh, load up here. Most of our access points, in fact, I think all of our access points now have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios. Um, many of them, if not most of them, also have an integrated Bluetooth um, low energy radio as well for beaconing purposes, uh, and also an integrated radio dedicated solely to wireless intrusion uh, detection and prevention, uh, and that's our air marshal feature, so we'll, we'll talk about that in the next section. So the next topic I love to demo for potential clients is our built-in security that comes in every single MR access point that we call air marshal, and you get to it basically by navigating um, from wireless to air marshal right here under the monitor column. And essentially what air marshal is, is it's built in intrusion detection and prevention for our access points. And it's deployed via a continuously running, continuously scanning, dedicated third radio that sits in the access points monitoring the uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands for malicious activity like rogue SSIDs, spoofs, malicious broadcasts, packet flooding, that kind of thing. And from this single page, uh, we're looking actually right now at our San Francisco office. So you see all of the Meraki access points that we have deployed here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you have a little bit of a better view. When you hover over these identified threats, you can actually go in and um, 
and sort of see an approximate place on the map uh, where these threats have been identified. So if you need to go to a particular corner of your building or, uh, or you know, or out in the parking lot or something like that, you uh, have a good sense of uh, where you might need to look. And there's a lot of different things that you can configure here, um, primarily around whether you want to automatically contain uh, rogue access points, for example, on your LAN, or uh, sort of just have them here and be notified. Um, but literally scrolling through, you can see all different kinds of stuff um, here about potential malicious activity on your wireless network. Next, I like to quickly touch on the dynamic tuning capabilities of Meraki access points. And what I do is I go to wireless, and then under the configure column, I go to radio settings, and this table pops up. I personally like to look at the map view, but the point to make here is that channel planning really becomes nearly automatic. Uh, the, the transmit power, the channel, both the channel number and its width are, are optimized in Meraki access points for enhanced performance and to provide the best roaming experience possible. But if you really want to, uh, you can come in, you can select an access point and come in and manually tune and tweak settings as you please. So you can come in uh, and set both the channel and the power for each of those radios. Again. MR access points come with both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios and that third dedicated scanning radio for wireless intrusion uh, detection and prevention.